Sunday the 1st of November 2020, we thought we'd put our Ultimate 18 in today. We haven't used it since the 10th of January this year due to bushfires and COVID. It's a beautiful sunny day and we're at Dawson's Cove opposite Painesville. Just rigging up. We're going to go out for a couple of nights. Just exploring the lakes. Looks like a nice day. And there's quite a few people out in their boats. Mostly motorboats at this point. Finally got going on the 1st of November after a few issues with the motor. Heading out at about five o'clock in the afternoon now. Heading east towards Ocean Grange. The wind's about possibly over 10 knots, maybe 15, we're not sure. Russ is at the helm. Happy at last. Been a few boats out this afternoon, quite a lot of yachts, but now a lot of people have gone home for their tea or put the sails down. It's a little bit windy and the lake is a bit green to be honest. It's a bit stirred up, but yeah, we're feeling good. We're going on now. Just coming up the channel, there's quite a lot of swans here. You can see some are still sitting on their nests. And some of them have got their signets with them. And there's a sandbank in between their rookeries. There's lots of black swans here. And on the other island there's lots of pelicans. And we're just coming down the channel towards Ocean Grange which is only accessible by boat and is a popular place. And on the other side of this low lying scrub is the 90 mile beach. So once you get into Bungaram, it's a little bit tricky to do much actual sailing, depending on which direction the wind is. But most people speedboat coming along on our left. Most people do motor this last bit because usually the wind is directly on your nose and you can't do much. So we've come as far as we can and then we've, uh, we're motoring the rest of the way. We're probably not going to go to this main jetty but a little bit further down there's little spots you can get to um, and you can pull in there and if it's if it's the correct time of year you might be able to light a fire in one of the approved spots and have a little bit of a fire going as well, depending. We're just passing the jetty now at Ocean Grange in our Ultimate 18 Trailer Sailor. We're motoring down the channel at Bungaram on the Gippsland Lakes see people have settled in here for the night having their tea on their boat and it's just a short walk across here through the bush to the 90 mile beach there's the ocean grange jetty it's not that crowded in the summer this is really really busy and you're lucky to get a spot between christmas and new year but after that it's pretty quiet and there's quite a few holiday houses along here are privately owned. People have got little blocks and little little huts and houses and you can see people are having a few there's a bit of a party going on over there. So it's very nice. It's a little bit cold. It's probably about 13 degrees now maybe. It's gonna go down to 10 tonight so it's a bit cool but it is only November. So 
looks like the next jetty down there is steamer landing and I think we plan to go past that and find somewhere maybe not so many boats because we can Well, we've come down Bungaram now with our Ultimate 18 and we've found a little place to anchor and just pulled the stern in and tied it up. We're at a special camping ground set up by the National Parks and they've got poles in the beach that you can tie your boat up to, which we've done. The tide might go out a tiny bit and you might end up on the sand, it doesn't really matter so much for our boat. So it's really sheltered down here. It's about seven o'clock at night now. There's hardly anyone here. There's a few people camping, but I'll just show you. It's a little, it's a little wedge of land of scrub and tea tree that leads up. If you go further in, which we're going to do shortly, it takes you to the 90 mile beach. We've set a little campsite up here. We've lit a little fire and it's really, really nice here. We've got, just bought a few things out of our boat. We organized all our food beforehand and I'm going to heat up, heat it up over the fire in a fry pan. And we've just got some fruits and vegetables that I've pre-cut up to eat. We've just had bit of a snack for happy hour and we're going to go for a walk and then come back and have our tea and we'll probably sit out here for a little bit before we go to bed so yeah this is up Bungaram one of the campsites in the summer you have to book these sites because it's really busy but because it's the first weekend in November and the COVID situation is still, Melbourne's still not allowed to come out. It's really only regional people here, so it's not very busy. Okay, we'll show you a bit more later on. Morning at the campsite today on the 2nd of November. It's a beautiful morning. Woken to the sounds of a dolphin nearby and the chirruping of cygnets everywhere. We've come back up to the campsite to light the fire, boil the billy, fill up the thermos, have our breakfast. And then we'll go for a walk along the 90 mile beach before deciding what we're gonna do. Well, here we are on the 90 mile beach. It's about 10.30 on Monday morning. Slightly misty morning. Sun's coming and going a bit. As usual, the beach is almost deserted and a beautiful long beach. We've walked a bit and we thought we'll just sit down and have a look at the waves. not super hot we've got jumpers and coats on but it will warm up I think it's going to be 21 today as you can see there's no other human in sight looking down the beach towards the west and down towards Ocean Grange there's a couple of boats out there Probably can't see them fishing. They're just pleasure craft fishing boats. And the other end, looking down towards Lake Entrance, you can you probably can't see on this, but there's you can see the edge of the entrance further down, and there's a tiny group of people on the beach, about a k or two away. So we're just enjoying a slow morning. We've had lit a little fire and boiled up the billy and had breakfast and coffee. And we're thinking of going back 
we sort of slowed ourselves right down now where instead of rushing around we just well we've stopped anyway this is a tiny snippet of the 90 mile beach in East Gippsland so just while we're quietly coming up the channel before we get out into the open area we'll just show you our messy little cabin is our bunk it's actually quite comfortable we've put an extra a, a new sort of foam topper special one on that bed and it was really comfortable last night it's a little bit messy because everything gets chucked in there once we get going there's our sink and there's the other side so it's quite okay you do have to get out you don't want to spend a lot of time in there because it's you have to walk around with a hatchback on our voyage over we've decided not to go to Rotomar we've decided we're going to stop in at sperm whale we've come out of the channel from Ocean Grange and we've still got the jib up it's a little bit windy but it's going all right it's a few boats out today and most of them have either got a storm jib up or just their jib or they're reefed in a bit so we are sort of got a bit of a sideways chop going on so it's a little bit rolly and we're heading over to the sperm whale jetty so we're going to go on the other side the western side of the jetty so we get out of the wind a little bit Let's have our lunch you can see the jib's going really well it's a little bit rolly but it's not bad and then later on tonight we're going to head over the mid part of your screen keep going around we're actually not far from home which is just near Painesville there's Painesville there so if it all gets bad we just go home but anyway having a really nice sail actually it's a little bit choppy but you know that's what happens well here we are now not sure what the time is I think it's about 2 30 in the afternoon we've just anchored ourselves in the very calm waters of duck arm we've had a bit of a trip over we're definitely the budget end of this area we've rigged up our <laughs> tarpaulin Russ is having a break million dollar boats surrounding us with their radios and TVs on. Not quite blocking out the sound of the beautiful bird. Very peaceful and nice. We did have a bit of a trip. We The wind got up from our last filming and we tried to stop at Sperm Whale Head, which was a little bit tricky and after the one of the mooring ropes broke and the boat was potentially bashing against the side of the jetty we decided no we would move on so we got going from there and motored off which ross handled very well and eventually i braved up again onto the deck because it was very slippery and very rough by then and got the jib up and we surfed in at doing about four knots with the jib you can see our neighbours, a couple of boats rafted together there with a string of children, lots of socialising going on there. But we've put up our tent so that we've got a bit of privacy from that, plus it's hot on the deck. It's actually really nice and we're just about to serve up lunch to steady our nerves. It wasn't that bad, but you know, it was an exciting adventure. So we'll fill you in later. We're just going to have a rest and something to eat. So this is Duck Arm with the shelter. I'll 
I'll just show you what it looks like as you come around. There's a yacht coming in again. It was here before. And you can see there's a point and then the other side of where we are is to windward. It's a little bit windy out there still. You can probably hear it. So it's fun. It's just windy. We're gonna we're not gonna go out in that now. We're gonna have tea and stay the night. We had enough of the battering this afternoon. There's still some boats out big boats sailing away but yeah it's probably a good 15 knots maybe a tiny bit more but as you pan around again you can see it's beautifully sheltered ours is a little blue one we are surrounded by a few bigger boats that have anchored just out and they're having their thing jumping in and so forth and there's the yacht that was here before and it's probably gone into town and come back just pulling her sails down.